Well, good evening. Wonky Astronomer here. Well, a couple of nights ago, I was observing an occultation at about 4.30 a.m. And uh, when it was over, I decided to have a look at Comet Swan because it's in the morning sky now, here in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's getting lower every, uh, every morning. So I thought I'd better have a look at it while it's still in a good position. The comet should be viewable in the morning sky up until around the middle of the month. That's May 2020. Ooh, someone's coming. Well, I've just been interrupted by the little woman emptying um, garden refuse into the bins. Say hello, Yuko. Hello. <laughs> well, as I was saying, the uh, comet will be visible here in the Southern Hemisphere in the morning sky for the next couple of weeks, probably by the middle of May, it will be too low and uh, you know the sun will be rising uh, very soon after the comet so the sun will wash it out. If you're in the northern hemisphere the best time will be around the end of May when it'll be visible just after sunset. All right so let me just check uh, where Comet Swan is. All right. Just grab my observing list here. There it is. So, slew to Comet Swan. Uh, so it's at 22 degrees, which might be just high enough to uh, see above the trees. I've got some uh, trees up to about 20 degrees in the east. I hate the search in this thing. I think you do it this way. Swan. C slash 2020 it's not there see ah there's a there's a galaxy there NGC 7829 well wonder if that's in here NGC 78 29. It is. Okay, I'll use that. I'll slew to that. Slew to that. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's fuzzy, but there's not much in the way of stars. See, these little dots are um, hot pixels on my camera sensor. That's a star, I think. But there's not many, and I think it might be because this is partly blocked by trees so i might just have to wait a little bit probably five or ten minutes until it's a little bit higher go up again at about here you start to see stars i think i think that's the tree line that i'm looking at there well comet swan has now risen above the tree line and uh I can see it much better now. I can see stars all around it, which is a good sign. Now, I'm going to increase the exposure. See if I can see it a little better. That's blowing it out a bit, but it's a bit noisy. So what I'll do is bring the gain down. Actually, probably bring it down quite a lot. And then bring exposure time up. Yeah, that's nice. That gives a a less noisy image, even higher exposure, and even lower gain, perhaps. Ooh, that's too dim. If I got a maximum exposure, which is only a few seconds. Now, just over here, 
we look at um, Sky Safari, that's the field I'm looking at. Comet there. Over here, there's a couple of galaxies. NGC 7829 and 7828. And I believe we can see those here. There's something just a little bit fuzzy there. So I, th I think that's that uh, pair of galaxies. They're, how bright are they? They're uh, 13th magnitude. For an extended object, that's quite dim. A bit difficult to see. A star at mag 13 would be easy for this camera, but uh, galaxy is a little bit uh, extended, so it's not as easy to see. I might just uh, move my view up a little bit. See how much of that tail I can see. This field of view is about uh, 30 arc minutes from top to bottom. Yeah, so that tail is definitely... Ooh, it's definitely more than that field. Yeah, it goes the, the whole height of the field, even when the comet is, is well off the bottom. I'm pretty sure I can still see that tail. Well, there you have it. Comet Swan. <laughs>